Good morning, Rebels. I'm Brooks. And I'm Ethan. And today is Friday, September 20th. We are so glad that you tuned in to BNN today. First up, we have our SGA president, Ann Douglas Nunnally, with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. We start today with a few important school announcements. Attention seniors, if you are interested in playing in the faculty student basketball game during school on Wednesday, October 9th, come and pick up an information and permission form from Ms. Watkins in the library. Forms must be signed by a parent or a guardian and turned in by Thursday, September 26th to be eligible to play. We need eight boy and eight girl players. All players will get a free jersey and mini basketball this year, and all proceeds from this event will benefit the fall charity Equip. Sign up today. It's Powder Puff football registration time. If you are interested in playing or coaching in the Powder Puff football game on Wednesday, October 16th, you must get a registration form from your second period teacher. If you do not have a second period, get, you can get one from Ms. Watkins in the library. Registration forms and a $35 registration fee can be turned into SJ reps working outside the lunchroom during all lunch periods on Monday, September 23rd until Wednesday, September 25th. Late registration forms can also be turned in outside the lunchroom on Monday, September 30th and Tuesday, October 1st. The late registration fees are $50. All proceeds from this game will go to the fall charity Equip, but your fee also includes the cost of a t-shirt. Hope you sign up. Attention all junior girls. The Distinguished Young Women application is now available. Distinguished Young Women is a national program that empowers young women to reach their full potential by providing scholarships, life skills workshops, and a positive peer network. The deadline to sign up is March 15th. Congratulations to the flag football team on their win earlier this week against Mountain Brook and Opelette. We also want to congratulate our volleyball team on their win against Albertville. Tonight, our football team will play Thompson at home. Kickoff will be at 7 p.m. It's senior night, so make sure to come out and support your senior. We will also be recognizing this week's Most Valuable Teacher at the game tonight. You voted, and this week's Most Valuable Teacher is Mr. Taylor Strickland. Check it out. Honor a Most Valuable Teacher at each home game. This teacher is nominated by and voted upon by the student body at VHHS. This week's MVT is Mr. Taylor Strickland. Mr. Strickland is the choral director at the VHHS main campus. Um, I love seeing the students' progress from August to May. And also, you know, part of the great thing about being a choir at Vestavia and being a choir in general is that it's a, it can be a four-year process in high school, so I get to see students um, all the way from their freshman all the way through their senior year and seeing their development, both musically and personally, is really um, great to see. Um, I wanted to become a choir director because I had had a lot of really positive musical mentors growing up, um, all the way from elementary all the way through high school, both in school and church and in the community. Um, and so music became something I was really, really passionate about and, you know, kind of just seemed like something that, you know, was a very obvious next step for me. Um, and so being able to kind of be that mentor for um, my students today is um, just really, really cool. Um, I really like the community that's here at the high school um, and you know there's students students are really involved in so many different areas so um, we don't necessarily typically have like just band kids or just choir kids or just kids that are involved in youth leadership we have kids that are involved all over the school and so we have classes that are just super diverse um, in terms of personality and experience. Um, every day I come in class he always has a joke to tell or something that can just brighten my day up and it's especially helpful when I have a really hard test. He can always make me smile and makes my day a lot better. Congratulations to Mr. Strickland for being recognized as our most valuable. Next week is a special week here in Vestavia Hills City Schools.
Schools across our district will be celebrating the annual I Am Vestavia Week. The week will accumulate in a special community event next Thursday at the Vestavia Civic Center from 5 to 7 p.m. Starting today, we will be bringing you a special segment to celebrate the cultural diversity of our schools. Today, we have some students sharing some fun facts about their culture. Check it out. Assalamu alaikum. Hola, hola. Did you know that despite being a hundred times smaller than Russia, Bangladesh has a bigger population? Wait. The Great Wall of China, constructed in the Qing Dynasty, was made with sticky rice. Did you know the orange in the Indian flag represents saffron? Hello everyone, my name is Jackson. Today for lunch, you can either have cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza. The quote of the day is, happiness is not by chance, but by choice. Jim Rohn. Thanks for tuning in to our show today. For VNN, I'm Brooks Bennett. And I'm E.K. Simpson. And everyone have a great day and go Rebels! Go, go Rebels! Rebels!